Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here, and this is going to be my contest entry video for Amazing Murphinator. And uh, he wants us to show off books that we have uh, actually gotten signed or ourselves, or, or sketches or commission sketches that we've actually gotten done. And uh, I don't have many, not by anybody of. Uh, well, I guess, what would you say of significance that's, uh, you know, would be at a con or something. But, uh, I do have a couple of cool things and, uh, from local artists around here. But one that was, uh, I, I did have my first commission. A lot of you guys have seen it. But, um, this right here, uh, this was actually an awesome act of kindness. My X Factor number six from Amazing Murphinator, uh, quite a few months back now. And, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, Mike is one of the first ones that I was subscribed to when I started. And, uh, absolutely freaking awesome. Thank you so much, brother. And this is, uh, honored to do this. I love it. Uh, this right here is actually, it's not one that I got signed, but I just got it from eBay the other day. Uh, actually, uh, yesterday I think it was. This is one of my favorites from, uh, Boom Studio and Simon Spurrier. This is the Spire, uh, a couple of awesome signatures, he wrote Proud Stands the Spire, Simon Spurrier, and then Jeff Stokely, absolutely freaking great story, it just ended a couple months back, uh, eight issues, I think Simon Spurrier is just slowly becoming one of my favorites, um, he wrote Slash and Burn, that was absolutely amazing, with uh, Tula Lote covers and Max Dunbar artwork on the interior, and um, he's doing weavers right now. I know a couple of people are thinking maybe that's a little bit slow, but we only got one issue because he's been doing these great little mini series. Um, for those that like the more hardcore gory books, he also did, uh, I think it was four volumes of Crossed, and his were uh, uh, Wish You Were Here, which took place in Ireland, I believe. And then he also uh, did from, Alan Moore did the first run of Cross Plus 100, and then Cy Spurrier did, I believe it was issue 7 through 18. Um, so he's been, been around a lot. Uh, there's a bunch more that I'm uh, forgetting off the top of my head. But uh, I think I'm loving everything that he's doing, and uh, so I just keep, I hope he keeps going. But, um, okay, so the first couple that I'm going to show are... A books, uh, what, would you, what is it, by proxy, I didn't get them done, uh, I didn't have anybody do it, but uh, CBA Comic Book Estate was awesome enough to let me know that he was going to a con, and got a couple of books signed, this is a real recent video, so obviously you guys know, uh, but the first one I'll show you is one that I did not send him, because I actually sent two books that were mine in my possession, but um, he sent me, he got to ch chat with Liam Sharp. So he sent me uh, Liam's cover of Wonder Woman number one, which is awesome. And then the books that were in my possession were the San Diego Comic-Con. And I had seen a couple people getting them done in gold, and I thought it looked really awesome right there. Boom. Absolutely perfect. Now these are the Jim Lee covers. i got a couple more signature, or signatures that I'll need to get for it, but Liam Sharp's interior artwork. And then this is another one. Uh, Batman Superman number one this is the one in 100 <laughs> black and white cover signed by Jay Lee now these next couple are ones that I actually got done these are some local artists this is uh, uh, so this is done by this is Panoptic uh, Panoptic Presents this is their uh, by Panoptic Press, so this is their anthology book, like Dark Horse or Island. So, but this is done by Stephen Arrhenius and Austin Keepler. So this is Panoptic Presents, issue one. Really freaking awesome, really creepy artwork, and a bunch of really cool stories inside. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful books really thick could be like a square bound but it's not really awesome and then this is just one of the things that came with it 
cool little cryptic cipher. And that's the that's them right there. If you wanted to check them out. But issue number one, I picked up a while ago, way before last free comic book day. But this is the one that I picked up. Oh, and these are signed, sorry. Uh, you can see the signature a lot easier on this next one. But this is issue two. And he does a really cool... I mean, it's like he does a sketch in his signature. Really awesome. And then this is issue two. Look at that, guys. You know I love this real sketchy... Awesome artwork. Freaking awesome. So at that same free comic book day, got a local artist, <laughs> excuse me, Eugene Commodore. Man, freaking amazing. Old Man Logan sketch. Standing over the Hulk with a bunch of Hulks, well, at least one around him. <laughs> There's Hulk all fucked up. There's one of them over there on the spike. Absolutely awesome. Look at Wolverine. Awesome, awesome old man Logan sketch. I love it. And then this next one, also by a local artist. Her name is Sonia Walsh. She's amazing and beautiful. Inhumans blank with an awesome Medusa sketch. I mean, look at this, guys. Will you freaking look at this hair? Oh, my God. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And the grade of color is like... I mean, you could see, like, right there, there's like four or five different shades of purple down to black. So freaking... Amazing with the detail and the hair. And I love the color palette with this dark. Just awesome green in the back. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Oh, man, I love it. Okay, so this next one is the... <clears throat> now, this is the... I mean, you can't really say real commission because these are just as amazing, but... This right here is my uh, commission from Alex Cormick, who does the interior artwork for Oxymoron, The Loveliest Nightmare. That's a four-issue miniseries that came out last year. And holy shit, guys, he just freaking did the most ridiculous thing to this cover. So, for those of you who haven't seen this, I'm going to tell you what I asked. because, And you may still be able to do it. I should have checked. But if you go to comicstribe.com, and maybe they'll have something different now, but you could get some sketches that Alex Cormick had already done for forty for thirty nine ninety nine, I believe it was, or for fifty nine ninety nine, you could ask him to uh, like put together something for you. So that's what I chose to do. And for those of you who haven't seen this, sorry, you got to sit through it if you have. But so this is what I asked him to do. Um, I want a scene with, now the, the main character in Oxy is, is Oxymoron. He's like a Joker type character. So, the other characters I had, and I got the 10 minute mark coming up. I'm going to try to try not to let this get interrupted. Uh, but one of my other favorite independent characters is Matter Red from the series Bedlam, done by Steve Niles and Riley Rosmo. Riley, you know, is one of my favorite artists. So, Matter Red. And then obviously we all know the Joker, who I think both of these characters are kind of based off of. Those characters being Oxymoron and Matter Red. Okay, so, Matter Red and Joker have broke into an asylum to rescue Oxymoron. They find him, he's in a straitjacket, so the, the picture is of Joker and Matter Red undoing the clasps of Oxymoron's straitjacket. And then I said maybe, you know, like some smoke in the background or something to where maybe they like blew a hole through the wall to get in. And So, okay, so this is what he came up with. And, and I told him, I said, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I'm asking way too much. So I just said, whatever you think is good. And this is what he did, guys. So the 10 minutes is coming up. So let's just give a moment of silence for this amazing fucking cover.
So obviously our front and center character, that's Oxymoron. Matter Red has the mask on. And then of course you see Joker. Just look at the detail. And black and white, the only color is blood. Absolutely amazing. You know, there's, I mean, he didn't leave a speck of room. He actually had to put a blob right there, you guys could see, where he signed it. <clears throat> and, of course, this is a wraparound cover. There's not a whole lot over here, but you could see Joker's arm. Still carrying on the great detail in it. I'll do it again real quick, just so you can see it. And then obviously, you know, all the smoke. And this stuff right here, all this, it, it looks like white out or something. And it's little globs, like you could feel it. It's like it's embossed. You know, like he took something and just splattered it everywhere. And then the smoke, and he still got some blood right here on the Joker's arm. And, I mean, just, you guys know I love the painted covers. So basically this, I know, that I think they do it with like a marker, but it really does look like a painted cover with that. Just, I mean, this is above and beyond. And like I said, you guys heard me right. $59.99 and it was like $3.99 shipping. And this is, I mean, as full as you can get on this cover. Absolutely amazing. So, congratulations on all those freaking subs, Murph. That's awesome. Uh, well over, I think you're almost at like 500 right now. So, Absolutely amazing. Keep it up, brother. And uh hope everybody liked this. If you're not sub to him, you're crazy. Go sub to Mike. He's awesome. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace, love, and signatures. God bless.